Hi, thank you. Um, welcome to the first edition of uh, Wikipedia Weekly, the biodiversity edition. I reached out to, uh, my name is Andra Wagmeester, um, and uh, I'm here today with Jovan Lichman and Jan Ainali. Um, um, we're part of a Wikidata project called Wikidata Bi uh, Biodiversity, and today we're going to write a Wikipedia article on a species. This, uh, we will dive into the details later, but this started, I think, two or three years ago, but Siobhan might correct me, where we were doing Wikipedia stuff, Wikimedia stuff, mm -hmm. Commons, Wikidata, and noticed that a lot of our community members um, are also active, were also active on a uh, platform, on an app called iNaturalist. So this grew into a small community that regularly meets online or offline uh, to create, to enrich uh, Wikipedia with, um, with information on taxons. And Jan, can I have uh, uh, the, sc the screen share that I have in there? Of course you can. So this is the this is the project this is the, this is the Wikidata Wiki project. So I have a little little uh, uh, a little cartoon here. How does the pipeline work? People are observing. A naturalist are observing the community, um, uh, observing nature, making recordings, and sharing that on iNaturalist and other community science. Uh, citizen science apps. This information is then shared on a platform called GBIF, and all this structured data can be used in Wikidata, um, on Wikidata, Wikicommons, and Wikipedia, or even any other platform. And I'm particularly fond of this project, of this workflow, because it's, it's, it's a very nice project where you reuse data and, uh, and knowledge from various platforms in there. How does it work? And um, here is the, the website of iNaturalist. Someone observes, let's go to my observations or any observation. So I saw a bird a few days back and uh, this bird, I didn't know what the bird was. And then the photo is uploaded. You can get automatic suggestions on what it is. And then the community chips in and says, this is actually a uh, Turdus philomenus or a song thrush. And if you go to the species page, you, you get a description of the information that is of what's on Wikipedia. So the, the, the app actually uses Wikipedia to describe taxons. Uh, um, Taxons on the uh, 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 that are being observed. So, <clears throat> but at the same time, wh why it's interesting is that the, the the same pictures that I made can be used in um, in Wikipedia because um, there is uh, the, the pictures can be shared using the Creative Commons. So we can have a feedback loop. I naturally feeds on Wikipedia for the information. Uh, Wikipedia can feed on uh, iNaturalist observations uh, because uh, of the, the license. So it's, it's a, re, it re a mutual uh, reuse of information. If you change uh, your license, because the default for iNaturalist is um, Creative yes. Commons, non-commercial use attribution. So you do have to physically change the license, either on the particular observation image or your whole account. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but how do, so one, one way of populating Wikipedia is just go uh, to the observations and on the map, just explore some of the, some of the observations out there. Let's pick uh, a bit. It's a bit, so uh, let's see what is, I'm going to just select this one. So this one has, this is a butterfly. <clears throat> it still needs to be uh, verified as being a um, uh, Californian tur turtle shell. So the community still has to do its stuff. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, you can see it's only been there for 15 minutes. So. Yeah. 
the community will get to it. So there are currently 58 million observations on our naturalist. So how many, as Jovan just mentioned, how many can we actually use um, in Wikipedia? Well, for that, we need to know what the photos licensing is. Uh, as as Jovan uh, mentioned, the default license of iNaturalist is uh, CC BY non-commercial, um, but uh, Wikipedia uh, is uh, is using a wiki a CC BY SA license. So this means that all the images that has a CC BY and C license do not um, do not apply. But you can filter that. So let's start by all the CC0 uh, observations. And we actually see there are six, there's still 600,000 observation, uh, uh, observations with images that can be used on, uh, I, uh, on, Wiki, on Wikipedia pages. And I actually should correct that because I want to have research grade. Research grade is some level of quality indication that the community ha has some level of agreement uh, whether that is indeed what is said to be. So if I then update the search, we have uh, 42 to one, 40, uh, 421,000. If I then extend that to the other queries, uh, CC by and CC by SA, and we have, I made a CC, CC by as a, we have about um, 2 million photos that is there for the grabs and use on, uh, <clears throat> on, um, on our, on, on populating a Wikipedia page. So this is, this is typically how, no, I haven't actually mentioned. So with the, with the subset of uh, the uh, Wiki project biodiversity, we have been meeting, uh, uh, in virtual meetings, I think for how many months now, Siobhan? Three, four months? Three, four months, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. what we then do is we just meet in Zoom and we would pick a species that is not yet on um, uh, on Wikidata, or on Wikipedia, and we would, comp we would complete uh, that Wikipedia article. My favorite example is this New Zealand fly, the Axul Singularis, but Siobhan, since you're from uh, Jovan, you will have it's from New Zealand. <laughs> What's the the bat wing fly? Yeah, it's the bat wing fly. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen one. They're quite rare. I've never seen one at all. And but we were really lucky because that particular image. I'm pretty sure that's from our national museum, which has recently gone CC by um, for its um, specimen images. So I'm geeking out at the moment. It's uh, Te Papa Tongarua, um, our national museum, um, downloading images and from them and then uploading them into Wiki Commons for use in Wikipedia and Wikidata. And um, I haven't finished yet, there's still heaps to go. Because of course, a lot of species, they'll be endemic to New Zealand. Our Wikipedia editing community is not huge. And so it does take us a while to work through all the endemic species of New Zealand, trying to get them at least properly uh, into Wikidata, beautifully curated. And then hopefully if they're notable enough into Wikipedia. So this is what I think this was our first, right? That we yeah. Did. So this is on uh, November 13th at uh, just before uh, 11 o'clock UTC. We <laughs> start writing it in I think just over an hour, and then in that session uh, we uh, this 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 was the result. Today we're trying to do. We are hoping to do. Um, we are hoping to do the same. Uh, with you as the audience, and so um, that's that's the plan for today. Is going to select the, um, the, the 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 right species to write, and then and then and then write that Wikipedia article. Andra, we got a question here. Could we paste the CC search? Uh, if you give it to to me in, in the chat, I'll give it to them so they can also use it. So that is. Sure. Here is the here is the one. It's it's a, so you can actually maybe it's worth mentioning. It's a trick I find out. Maybe someone knows it better. So what, when you go with the filter, so if you go to iNaturalist and you go to Explore, you get this page. Then you can go to the filters, and you can actually uh, uh, make the, the querying very detailed. 
but for the licensing you can only <laughs> select one license at a time while i want to have the three licenses that are applicable in wikipedia being cc0 cc by and cc by sa and to do that you have to um type that in here separated by a comma and then you get multiple you can select multiple licenses um so where were we um yeah so should we dive in yeah um, jan is there anything we should say about how people watching this can uh, engage can it, help it seems writing. like uh, people are already on it so w whatever platform you're on you can chat with us and we can bring it up and try to ask please do come with tips or like ask why we do th things like we do uh, we, we do this in front of you so that we can all learn from each other <laughs> So the uh, I normally we actually when we, in the in the earlier sessions we would actually now query around what species should we write about. But for since yeah. this is the first edition, we kind of cheated. We prepared a subset <laughs> uh, to have enough sources because the biggest challenge is uh, is actually to find the right resources uh, for that. It's like so everything. We, yeah, when you're writing a Wikipedia article, the biggest challenge is research. Yes. And we can't research in an hour and write a nice article in an hour and show you how to do it. So I admit we have done a bit of research pre-show. <laughs> so, uh, so I have here what what are what are the I've looked into this. So one of the one of the sources for uh, for new Wikipedia articles is the iNaturalist has this iNaturalist observation of the day, week, month, uh, and you can pick that. So going uh, to d that one and this was this observation and when we go to the species we can actually see and um, we go to the species the taxon page and we can actually see that there is no wikipedia article for this ops for this species so this would be an interesting candidate to um to write uh, a wikipedia article about the, the the only issue we had is that, and we have mentioned this already, but you, uh, Siobhan and I will will repeat this on multiple occasions. Uh, mm. And the license of this really nice picture is actually not eligible for inclusion in in Wikipedia because the, it is using the default license. So then the next the next one is this really <laughs> it's also a very in a sn uh, snail. Um, observed in the northern part of Brazil and uh, this is has a CC BY license so this uh, snail can can actually be described using that and last time I checked it also lacks a Wikipedia article so this could also be a candidate for that you this should make sure to double check because I'm not sure how often iNaturalist is updated to link with Wikipedia so if you are going to do this workflow check that it doesn't have anything in the iNaturalist and then just go double check that the Wikipedia you're writing in, whatever language Wikipedia you're writing in, doesn't actually have um, a, a Wikipedia article. I think iNaturalist only uses the English Wikipedia. Is that yes. correct, Andre? Yeah. Yes, okay. I've reached out to the folks at iNaturalist and asked because I really like this and we will show that later. This is, this is our starting point in our workflow to use this template. And I would love to have this in other language. My native language is Dutch. And uh, uh, and when I so and when I switch the language to iNaturalist into the Dutch language, this doesn't show up. Yet yeah. the Dutch Wikipedia page is also used in iNaturalist to give the Dutch description or the Swedish description mm. or everything. But it seems to be that the reason they cannot make this happen is that these templates are driven by the local communities. So this is how the English Wikipedia deems uh, taxons to be described. And there is no one solution, solu one solution fits all for all the other languages. And what, a, what a shame they don't drive it from Wikidata. Yes, I agree. Make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? It would. 
But there is another reason why I want to mention this because this is one of those nice examples. Because initially, uh, this is this is per, uh, my pers personal perspective. The, the annoying thing about iNatural is, is they run this CC BY NC license. So you have a lot of mm -hmm. folks out there who are really willing to uh, to change the license, but it's mm -hmm. it's not straightforward. First, you cannot do it from for, from the app. You have to log in, and yeah. uh, so. When I saw this 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 really nice observation, I was like, it was CC by NC. But what I then did is I actually went um, send a message to the uh, the the and uh, the naturalist that observe, which is Rosa Angela uh, Souza, and I said, okay, I, I, I stumbled on this picture. We would like to use it, but well, what I've just explained, and then she said. I made a request to change to use the images. Thanks. This is awesome. So we can actually now use this picture to feature in a Wikipedia article on on on, on this on this snail. Uh, your and it's really worth it's really worth reaching out to people if you find an image you like. It is so worth reaching out to people. I've had people come back to me and say, "Oh, I won't change it just for that image. I'll change I'll change the whole account and had ten thousand observations available." For endemic species in New Zealand that are so hard to get openly licensed images for, I've I've celebrated when I've had people come back to me because they're you know they're avid naturalists they're doing it to share and to increase the knowledge, and once you explain how you want to use the images and also the ramifications of changing the license and do encourage them to go check out you know the Creative Commons website so they know what they're actually agreeing to, yeah. but once they're on board. You can do so much with your observations, it's observation images. It's amazing. Yeah. So and then I recommend. And, the, and this specific and then this uh, naturalist actually changed the license on all her observations. So and there are quite some nice. So we can now actually use all these pictures. I think we can check. So because I think you can change it. Yeah, you can change on a single photo by photo base. Yeah. You can also say I want to change to to CC by. And yep. indeed, we can now use this this nice picture in there. And do it retrospectively, so you update all yeah. the images you've put into iNaturalist, all the previous ones as well, not just the ones from now on. So, yeah. Um, so now, um, well, let's let's skip to the. Um, so let's go to the so what this is this is and this is another one from one of our regulars uh, uh, Dario Tarborelli who is also part of this small team who couldn't make mm -hmm. it today but this is one of his uh, observations and again this is the excitement of uh, being a Wikipedian and an iNaturalist you're in you're out there you see a little grasshopper and you find out that it's actually not on iNaturalist and it's not on Wikipedia so you go like okay let's let's make this happen let's fix it yeah. <laughs> But we will leave that to Dario for the, in the next next edition. So we are now going to this observation, which coincidentally is coming from New Zealand. And now it's your you can you have the floor to introduce the. Well, it's, it's a it's a native bee. It's one of the more common native bees in New Zealand. It's very small. It's um, the female and the male. The females on the left. The males on the the right. And um, it's just, you know, a native, we've only got, I think, I'm not exactly sure how many native bees we've got, under 20, I think, 23, yeah. around, that, around that amount. Um, and it needs, it's, it's something that people would look at and think perhaps it's a fly, perhaps it's, a, you know, some sort of flying insect. They don't necessarily realise it's a native bee endemic to New Zealand. So it would be nice to give it a better profile, a bigger sort of media presence via, via Wikipedia. So... We're going to write the Wikipedia article, the English Wikipedia. As, as you have said, we first need to make sure it doesn't exist. So the first step yeah, I, I haven't do, actually, Yeah, I haven't checked recently. He is hoping. <laughs> I'm going to Wikidata. On Wikidata, I'm going to check whether uh, there is a there is an item on Wikidata for, uh, for this uh, species. And I'm now going to the bottom, and there are actually Wikipedia articles for this species. It is being, it's in, there is a Dutch article, Swedish article, Vietnamese article, and we can actually maybe just open it um, to show, because what you're seeing here is the exact same thing as what you're seeing 
here. So you can actually see the Dutch uh, uh, article um, here also needs some in, uh, improvement, <coughs> which we can do today. So we'll, we should at least. Uh, <coughs> So, but the English, it seems the English Wikipedia is not there. So the next step, what we're do, going to do, there are 70 observations, is we're going to create this page on uh, Wikipedia. And we are here. And I'm going to copy and paste the template um, to this page. And now when I publish, uh, when I would Publish, or we can actually go for show preview. Can you zoom in once, perhaps? So, yeah, that's good. So this would this would this would be the stop once we have published it. Um, mm -hmm. But we oh, we don't want to do that just yet because we want to extend the species box with a picture from Commons. So the next step would be, is there a commons? No, there is no commons. So I'm going to wiki commons. And for those uh, who are familiar with commons, commons is the multimedia bank of Wikipedia. So Wikidata provides the structured data, commons provide the imaging. So what we want to do to reuse the, 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 the photos from iNaturalist is we need to transfer the images from iNaturalist to Commons because uh, Wikipedia sourced directly on Commons and not on iNaturalist. Uh, mm. So to check, we're going to check again. Oh no, this is we're going to check again whether or not this Maori mask B exists on um, on Commons, and I'm going to check immediately for category. Yeah, see if that and it does not exist. So the first thing that I do is make one. Is make one, and what I do is 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 I'm going to make the first step that I'm going to do to make this is is I'm going to create only a category, and I am going to. Publish the page quickly. Preview to be. Oh no, I made a mistake. I should have done. This. If you put a pipe in, basically that links it to the genus category of that species. So the, like the fam, the, the the group of species. One step. It links up. this category. It's a category structure in Wiki Commons. So now I'm going to publish it, and we have a empty. So if you can, if you can actually click here. And we can see if the genus has pictures on comments like already. Oh, it does. And they're quite nice. some. So now yeah. going back, the next step that we want to do is we need to we want to import photos from iNaturalist. There is the hard way where you can just select a photo from iNaturalist, download and upload it. We're not going to touch on that, uh, but. Um, we're going to directly import them from iNaturalist. There is a uh, gadget made by someone called Dari from the uh, Wiki, Wiki community that allows importing uh, pictures from iNaturalist directly where the license is compatible. So <clears throat> what, I'm, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to back to the Wikipedia page and I'm going to copy paste. You mean the Wikidata item? The Wikidata, back to Wikidata, Wikidata item. item. And so we're going to add the category to the Wikidata item, which will link the category in Commons to the Wikidata item, which actually has the iNaturalist link. And that's the, the links you need in order to get this tool to actually work. Um, wow. I don't know why that didn't work. Someone beat me to it. It's, I said Did I they? Ah, someone's uh, helping. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, whoever did that. <laughs> so if you scroll up under it, they can show, show it. There's the iNaturalist taxon ID. Can you see how it's got a, a taxon ID there? And that's yeah. the link that the tool uses. Now you've got the commons linked to the Wikidata item and the iNaturalist taxon ID linked. And yeah. now you can go back to the um, commons, uh, Wikimedia commons category and you refresh it. Well, I okay. Yeah, oh, maybe. yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I, I normally, you know, I've just refreshed. Yeah, I think that I was actually, what I'm now going to do is the Wikidata info box. 
Mm, yeah. Nice. Put it in and publish the changes, and we immediately have already. Yeah. Hopefully. Come on. So it was actually you who made the edit. It's just the interface who was loaded in some weird order. So it thought it wasn't added. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So what I did, what, what happened with the info box is that we now have uh, some basic information metadata on the on the species uh, coming from Wikidata. So you have identifiers, you have the taxonomic tree. And now there is suddenly, because we had made the link between comments and Wikidata, there is this magic button called iNaturalist input. I think we need to talk a bit about that, but let's table that for now and, and, and just go and then later discuss how you can make this button happen in your... Um... So now when I push the button, these are all the photos in iNaturalist that uh, apply, that, that are of eligible for inclusion in uh, Wikipedia. So it's either CC0, CC BY, or CC BY SA. Siobhan, mm. you have the honor. Which one do you want to? Um, okay, mine are all out of focus, so don't worry about that. Basically, you want to get the head as one, and that that one with the whole body and the wing, um, and then the, yep, this the, one, the whole the, the one on the left, that okay. one is a nice yeah. one. That's a female, and you'll also want to get her head as well. So now so that, I, that's we definitely one start. Inspection. We do the uploads image, and. Um, what is really nice about this little app is that it, it takes in the metadata, it takes the license information, it takes the original photo photographer on it. So you have you don't have to replicate that. And it gives the credit to it. So when I now go to upload file, the photo is picked, is fat uh, is fetched from my naturalist. And we should have a yeah. picture yes. instruments we can use, but we wanted more. So yeah. The wing, um, right? Yeah, wing's good, and the face as well. Okay, upload image. Because these are the sorts of things that people use to actually identify the species and distinguish it between other species. So what I try and do when I upload images that I'm going to be using on Wikipedia is to try and upload images of all the distinguishing features that have, might be used to describe the species, be it a plant, a bird, an insect. And wing veins are important. The heads of bees are important. Um, and the body is important, obviously. So, then any markings. So I go to town normally and just upload as many as as will uh, give me. But And you also want a boy's head. That's a girl. So, yeah. One? Okay. And what's the yeah, boy's that's a girl. The boy's down down two and to the right. See, the, see he's got more of a mask. Uh, it's a uh, last row, second to last image on the last row. Yeah, this one. That one, yeah, that's a boy. Okay. And I, I'm no expert in bees, by the way. The only reason I know that is because I researched this bee for this <laughs> for this thing. I normally find out about the species while I'm editing the Wikipedia article. So now if I close the, I think, well, we can always- uh, No, we can always add more, so that's fine. Yeah. So we can actually, let's see, then now we have a category and we can actually, nice. so which one would you choose for the info box? Um, I would use the whole one, the whole girl. Yeah. This one, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so now I'm going back to that and I'm going One of the to... reasons I do that is because there's a bias in Wikipedia for male species. So I tend to go against the grain and stick the image for the female species in there instead. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm if I'm creating the article. So I think we're good, right? Yeah. So there is there there might there might be uh, so we are creating an, a stop with an empty page. Why am why are we going to publish this? Is it is I mean you can argue that the description, the range, the habitat is it's empty information. So the information is still is needs to get in there. The reason why we're still publishing this is a group effort. So uh, by putting it in, you create an effort, and you have added buttons. And we so when we would have our, our, our uh, when we would do this online, someone would say, "I would um, I will work on a description." 
and someone yeah. else says, yeah, I will work on the range. This way yeah. you won't have added conflicts. So, yeah. but at the end, what, so what we try to do is I'm now going to publish the page and the page will be made. And it, there will be only one references, which is saying it's coming from iNaturalist, the Heolos Villagatus is a species. Uh, uh, and that's it. And that's it. Yeah. And then we will now dive in and start extending the page. Who was the first author, etc. So yeah. when we now do publish, we have a Wikipedia article, which is a stop. And actually, you can see. So now, now everybody is welcome to let's make this, let's grow this page. <clears throat> there is, I mean, uh, I'm surprised the other links are not in there. Maybe I need to refresh. So in the, this page it, hasn't been uh, added to Wikidata yet. So it's now. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> this is awesome. Sorry, I went too slow. I mean, I should have showed you how to do that. Ah. Sorry, <laughs> I was just jumping on. <laughs> wow, it's still not here. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I don't think you've got the the right markup, and I don't think they put the um, getting the information from Wikidata. Mark up in there. Let me just see. So if you go into the, so I'm actually surprised that we don't have the common name because I naturally often produces the common name, but now it's just as high levels or is a species. Yeah. So the next thing I do uh, is that going from the high, ah, but that might explain it. Is I'm going to GBIF uh, and GBIF, and uh, there is a GBIF ID is. Is this uh, uh, very interesting platform that combines all the observations, not only from iNaturalist, but also from observation.org, from museum collections. So it's more like a, a, a secondary uh, repository of, of, uh, of data. And what I find usually in there is that it is, has been written by Smith. So what we then can do or... Uh, or am I now on your turf, Siobhan? Uh, no, I'm basically at the moment editing the article. So you keep going and I'll be with you in a sec. I'm just okay. going to put the, the natural, oh, except I'm not on. Oh, just ignore me. I'll well, get down. I, I, I might need some help. Yes, you, do it, you do it, you do it, you do it. You I'm do it. saying yeah. edit source. It says, uh, uh, this was first described. This was first described. This was described by, and I need a full name. Because this the is full something. Name of the Guy is where is it? I did write it. I think I saw it. Frederick in... Smith in eighteen seventy six under going... the name. So if you go back to the the preparation document we've got, there's a whole paragraph. Ah, I see. You even have the. You even have yeah. the. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. copy paste that, and so so I'm going to say first written by, and I can now. Just, yeah. And then what I would do, since I've got this information, but uh, I'm happy if someone challenges that. I am I got this information from GBIF, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to uh, state that that reference, that statement is coming from GBIF. Yeah. So what I'm going to do there is I am, okay, I've first described, by, yeah, I'm going to s publish the changes. And because I want to switch to the edit, official editor, because uh, that's, and then, right, because I want to use this DOI, provide the DOI and generate. And I have the link to GBIF. I insert it and uh, we have that information. You might have other resources that we can cite there. Yeah, this hates. So, so I went from yeah. iNaturalist to GBIF, and then the next candidate in my set of sources is the BHL. This is the Biodiversity yeah. Heritage Library, and then uh, I'm typically selecting the, I'm giving the taxon name. Yeah. Going to be. There won't be anything you're going to have to use because it's a relatively new name. Um, that if you look, it's that as usual with species names change. I'd yeah. be surprised if many references turn up. Yeah, there's some, but not. That's no. You have to go under its its first description name, which is 
Uh, it's uh, Prosperoso. Oh, God, Latin's not my forte. I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> Is this not something we should type in as there? Initially, first known as. Yeah, it first was, described as. Um, the, it was on the, the GBIT site. Uh, private chat, oh. GBIT list. There's its name. I'll put it in um, our chat. For some reason, I can't do comments. Maybe I need to log in or something. Never logged in here. So, um, anyway. So I've put it in our comments. Yep. Actually, yep. I saw a comment a comment in there uh, by Annie R. I Maybe mean, if you can share that about the taxon bar, we indeed forgot to put that in there. Yes. That's a good command. So let's do that. I'm going Edit to source. Yeah. Edit source. And oh, there is a conflict already. No, no. Someone, someone might be helping. Uh, yes. So, oh, no, I, I need to publish changes first, of course. Uh, uh, reference. Changes. And then go to, so that's there, then go to edit. <laughs> and and it's then normally put the, the I yeah. do the just on the references, right? No, I do under ref list, under ref, sorry, under ref list, but yeah, that's it, perfect. Taxon bar, and then it's from the Wikidata item. So it's um, uh, pipe mm. from equals, and then Wikidata item. From, and oh, do you equal. need to add, it, add that on the English Wikipedia? Yeah. Well, I always do just out of. Uh, it's just okay. reference on let's, the Swedish one. Let's try, uh, see if we can. Uh, so I will copy this, go here, and. I'm going to do without. It's, I I just that's just how I've done it, so I have no idea whether this is going to work. Um, let's see. Yeah, and this changes. If it doesn't, we're going to add. Ah, uh, yep. yeah, it works. So nice one, Annie. Cool. So by adding that template, we now have all the taxon identifiers of this species. Um, yeah. And the oh. one that's important for New Zealand is at the end, the NZOR, although that particular database is starting to get out of date. Basically, in 2012, New Zealand published um, a complete list of all the species in New Zealand that they could get together. Three huge volume, in fact, you can probably see it behind me, I own it, um, thing of all the um, species in New Zealand. And it's my go-to first reference thing that I do. That I go to the book and make sure that the species in the book, and then I cite the book in the in, in a species article or the database. So, how do we proceed now? I mean, who wants to work on what section, or should I give you the the, the screen and we just? Observe? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, um, whatever you prefer. I mean, it's only going to be showing a one of us to actually doing the editing, so you know. Um, do we want to do that or do we want to show, go on to the next thing? I mean, obviously, ho hopefully the people here will know how to edit Wikipedia. Maybe we want to go show how to um, improve the Wikidata item or um, perhaps upload, uh, we could upload the type specimen images from, because um, that's really important. So when, when a species is first described, they use type specimens, scientists use type specimens like a example of the species to you do the first description. So who was the guy? Frederick Smith was the guy who first described the species and he used a particular specimen to make the first description. And that first description is actually in um, BHL and the link is in the, the link is in the um, document if you want to go there, the original description link. Uh, I don't know, description is this one? Yep, yep. So that's the paper. I can't remember what page it is. There's enough so we, of them. We yep, you can go in there. Um, That's it. Oh, don't go to that one. Go to, go into BHL. So go back because <laughs> I want to do a full sex search. See the view article on the top right? Uh, view article, yes. Yep. And that way you can, and then you can do search inside on the top right. And I search on the last part of the species name. Which was that's oh, good question. Very good, Elegatus. Yeah.
And so that'll pop up underneath. And there you can see, yep, um, page 485 will give you the original description. So you go there and you can see at the top, that's its original name and original description. And if you're lucky, you can find, if you're lucky, I know, happen to know that this guy worked at the Natural History Museum in London and they are digitizing all their specimens. So I go check to see whether I can find the species he used in 1876, either the data, and if I'm really lucky, the images of that particular specimen he used to describe that species. So if you, again, go back to, um, I'm just if you go back, no, 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 they won't put it, they won't have put it under the original, because it changed ages ago. Uh, should should we actually mention his name in the article? Yep, 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 definitely. Okay. Well, let's do this so we do edit so. Uh, I, I say it was first described by him um, using the name. Um, was first was first described by Frederick M. Yes, using the name, using the name uh, Prosper and then uh, maybe yeah. make that italic or fat. Yep, um, italic. Italic. And then, of course, yeah. since it's uh, we use the um, where is it the reference to this, so I need to go back and use that link as the DUI, yeah, as the references. So I'm going to save this to publish changes and um, publish changes, and then I'm going to say edit. Add the source site to that generate. Okay, um, just insert it, insert it. Okay, and then um, edit it. Okay, okay. scroll down because this is what I do. See how the URL is the DOI? I make that, I add the DOI to the citation and that URL thing, I go back to BHL and I use the page URL so that when you click on the citation, you don't have to, the next person who does it, no, the actual article, go to the article. Hey, uh, oh yes, sorry. In BHL. Um, and you remember how we found it? Yeah, few article. Yeah, and search then, inside again. It was page four something or other. Yeah. Last name, whatever the last. Ah, I was, no. I need. Yeah. I need. just opened another tab. This is why I normally have 500 tabs open. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, let me see. So where well, where were we at? And, yeah. um, no, 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 wrong thing. Okay, BHL. Go find BHL. This one. No, yeah. not this one. No, not that one. <laughs> That's the problem with this having one. too many tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We added oh, this, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Now, can you see URL for current page? That's a permanent link. That one. You copy yeah. that one. Oh, interesting. And so you put I'm it in. In the URL. Yeah, but don't lose the DOI. You put that in the URL and then we'll put the DOI in as a separate. Um, yeah, great. Perfect. Because the DOI know. is really important. Exactly. Yep, they're already. They're, they're, they're already. Perfect. So apply changes. Uh, uh, okay, double check because I'm pretty sure you didn't remove everything. Oh, okay. Oops. No, no, it's good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Cool. So basically what that does is it makes the person who comes along to this article, it makes their life a lot easier if they're interested in the first description. Because although you've still got the information and it's linked in via the DOI and it's still in the citation, the person just clicks that link and it takes them directly to the page that the, the original description for the species is. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, you can actually, if, if you go back to our original document, I've got a link in there because I did a bit of research and the photos for the original um, B that was used for that description in 1876, that yeah. specimen exists in the Natural History um, Museum uh, at in London. And type specimen, that one. Go to the portal. Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. and if you scroll down, ta -da, look at that. <laughs> oh, it blew me away. It blew me away that this species was there, specimen was there. Oh, nice. And <laughs> So we need these by. images. 
Yeah, no, yeah. We actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, we actually have to do the manual process now. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Yeah, yeah. which is might it's annoying, but it's might to show that the uh, with the workflow yeah. we had previously. So yeah. What should I do? Should I just copy it to my computer and then upload it to comments? That's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, yeah. Just do one because it's going to be too tedious. I'll clean it up afterwards. Yeah. But, so, so <laughs> but I put all of them in because the the Natural History Museum were to be taking photos that are used by scientists. And um, I may only use one for the Wikipedia article, but Wikicommons will get all of them because it makes life easier for scientists who are maybe possibly researching this. Scientists are just like us. The first thing they do is they Google something. And if it's got a Wikipedia article, they go quickly skim the Wikipedia article for the citations and for images. And if you've got the type specimen images in there, at least one, they'll click on it and be taken to the category. So you've got to think like, who's going to be using the content you're providing? And scientists are definitely one group when it comes to species. Okay. Um, so you and yeah. Continue. I've this changed the, not my own work. So yeah. where is the source? source. It was, no, no, okay. it's uh, natural history. Where is the portal gone? Oh here. Yeah, yeah. So do I take this link? Or <laughs> Excuse I go me. Yes. No, no. Yep, that link. Unless you're uploading all of them. And then I'll no, use the whole I thing. Will, I will do this. I'd, but I'd use the individual link for the specimen. So this is based. Um, and then the author would be um, squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket, Natural History Museum, Institution, Natural History Museum, London, I think. I'll just go check. Institution, Natural History Not exactly sure. Museum, Museum, London, like this. I'm checking now. Uh, it's uh, institution, institution template colon natural history uh, museum comma London. So institution natural history museum comma London. Yeah, and it's squiggly brackets, not quotes. It's ah, um, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, two of them, two of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, on each side. I understand. I was two and then there. Okay. Sure why, why are you getting a spelling mistake with natural? Oh, that's okay. that's me. That's a plugin that that's, I have. That's the okay. Dutch. And the, the the license I know is CC by. Yeah, the it's images. Four point. It's share four. alike. It's CC yeah. by four point zero. It's the middle one. The middle one. Uh, which one? Ah, uh, this Creative one. Creative Commons is attribution four point zero. Yep. That's not then keep going one. down. Three, three no. down. Three down. There you yep. go. Uh, no. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure it's not? I thought it was. No. No, you're right. No, no. You're right. no I, yep. I, I, I know I'm, I'm right. I tick. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I'm actually surprised that this is not CC0. Oh, but it's a, it's a bit of picture. The data is CC0. Not a specimen. The data yes, it makes sense. The images are CC by. And, yeah. and so they should be. They deserve yeah. to get the credit for making and spending all that money. I know. Doing I totally the agree. Yeah. So now it is next. Sue, so how should we call now, this? I, I would actually, I'm not sure what to do about that. That to me doesn't, I mean, it's a, I, it, it needs a better title than that. I, I, get, I wouldn't lose the numbers because the numbers are probably what the museum uses and can be used to make sure that you don't um, double up on, on the downloads for it. But I would call it, what do they go up to the top of the data? What do they call it? Uh, specimen. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would actually call it by the uh, the scientific name without the Smith, comma, F. Just uh, a scientific name and then put, um, yeah. I want to check one thing next to this, right? I put that, that bit first and then the number and the face S last. Oops. Um, yeah, but that's just me. I mean, that's how um, I do it. We're following. So I'm going to check one thing because I just noticed going back because I saw that this is a JPEG picture that I use because I've, I've just selected this one. Yeah. But I've just noticed that there is also a download button. 
Harris, nice. We should actually upload this one, right? The yeah. original image instead of the JPEG. So we need to. Yeah. Oh. Um, no, 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 no. Okay. If you can't uh, download, no, 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 no. I'm not sending well, emails. It takes way too long. Uh, let me check for what this, the best, second best thing is this, which is probably save image. If it's JPEG, oh, yeah, so we, we, we're we good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just I mean, check. high res is great, but if you have to email for it, nah. Yeah. Okay. Caption. Tell me. Oh, God. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. Nice Face, specimen. Uh, type specimen. Yeah. Of. Yeah. And then I will remove. Held at the Natural History Museum, London. Um, um, located at what did we say, London? Um, <laughs> we will, Sandra. We will. I promise. <laughs> Sandra's just said, um, "Make sure we do structured data." <laughs> ah, okay. We yeah. will. I promise. We will. <laughs> okay, let's see, um, London, like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, with a comma after museum. Sorry, that's their name. No, 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 I'm fine. All right. And I would just copy the same thing to the description, okay. and I'll go in and sort it out later. Okay. Uh, run now, the, the work created or first published, that was, you have to go back to see when they actually took that image. And do they have the metadata? Uh, in the in the data, might, might tell, tell uh, you. Ah, created this one. Yep, yep, you got it. So we go there. <clears throat> I mean, just show how awesome the button is for uh, this. This is you. We, this is you. Don't have to do this. Uh, going, uh, muting the button. Category, uh, and then we need the one. Uh, we go again. You don't need to write category colon there. You just ah, the name. okay. So no, we're up to date. So we're going back to here. This uh, this okay. I'm just checking. You want to put the category for the Natural History Museum. I'm just seeing if they've got um, a particular category for type specimens. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to do this anyway, and then we can do the second one for type specimens. Or okay. Oh, no. There is, but I think mm, what's that? What's the where's that go to? <clears throat> yeah, there's type specimens of the Natural History Museum, comma London category. <clears throat> I'll put it in chat. Uh, at uh, where did you? S okay, let me check. Ah, okay. I'm gonna copy. So should we now, so now since we have this specific category, we can remove these. Right? Yeah. 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 So this one and this yeah. one. And that'll do. OK. Publish files. Yeah. Maybe we should ask Sandra to, to do the structure data then. <laughs> so we want to add that it depicts an insect head, which I just looked up, and it's called cephalon. I'll put it in the chat. Ah. Oh, you have it. Cephalon. Yes. OK. And species, depicts that particular species. Yeah. Ah, the name of the Isn't, species. You know, put the species name. Yes. Yeah. Publish, or do yeah. we want to put more? Yeah, it's a good start. Oh. It's a start. Yeah. We have to leave something for Sandra as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would actually go and put that image in where the taxonomy section would be. So we do this. Go oh, I tend to go to the specimen and get the because that get the thumbnail so using uh, use this file see underneath it it's got download use this file use this file in wikipedia yep and just copy that 
Ah, uh, yes, makes sense. So now we're in the we're in the tab is my ah here it is. So we you might want to refresh that because people might have been working on it. That's a very good point. Reload save. I don't, oh, I have not changed it. We'll sort so, it down. I'll resume edit. Oh, I think I didn't push publish. So let's. Oh, mm. okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, no problem. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, I'm gonna see if this leads to a conflict. Uh, ah, okay, so what I will do is... Uh, <coughs> um, so I guess I just have to copy. Is there a way I can maintain the reference? Yes, I think I can do this. So I will copy paste this. Then go back, refresh, and leave. Um, I'm going to and then refresh. What well, did change? Anyway, let's go back to. Um, oh no! Okay, I've lost the rest. <laughs> Oh, it's all right, we'll find it. I've got the reference sitting it sitting in the um in the main document. Now after after we finish this, I'll go through and tidy it up and make it yeah. looking lovely. Okay, so yeah. So once once we put the taxonomy um, information in, that I I would actually, if it was me, change that caption to that um, image to say um, type specimen. Uh, makes total sense. You can, I think you can actually go in and go into the image and do that, can't you? If you edit source, maybe. In there, you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. So see how it's got the species name at the end after the word thumb. Yes. No. I would actually you. change that to type specimen of species. Type specimen. Just this. Just leave it as just leave it as type specimen. Yeah. Publish changes. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Now the other thing we could do is go and actually show the Wikidata item for that B, and we could edit the Wikidata item. Yeah. We can actually link in the original description because that's quite important in Wikidata. Yeah. So we do. So yeah. the one I use as an exemplar, and I cheat. I'll just get it. Hang on. So if you go into chat, this is the species I use for a bee. That Wikidata item there will give you the markup of the way I do it. Ah, uh, okay. If, any, if anyone else has um, examples of how to do it, I'd be really grateful. But there's a really nice way of actually putting in a reference to say it's the first description of that species. So we have publication in which there's yes, and then yep. we had... It was not good now one. that particular publication does have its Wikidata item. I know it does because okay. um, certain. Can you see how it's got article I, uh, IX? Yeah, and okay. underneath the name, the transcriptions of the Entomological Society of London, it says article IX descriptions of new species. That's the article name. If you search for that in Wikidata. It should pop up with the um, Wikidata item for that particular particular oh, article, because Rod Page has been doing a lot of work linking um, out of these article descriptions to Wikidata items, and also creating Wikidata items for these first descriptions. Yeah. I'm going to change that. We'll go to Wikidata. Ah, here it is. Yes. Lovely. So should we then show folio? Oh. Conflict with constraints. Should not be statements for both publication, which is text was such an original combination. What? Uh, yeah, okay. Potential. Should not have statements for both publication in which this taxon name was established and original combination. Can you have you just me? That's the location in which this taxonym was still an ambassador name. 
Okay, but we well, don't. Well, it doesn't market. have any of those statements. No. So I don't know what the conflicts are about. Well, let's or maybe it... table this for now and yeah. investigate offline. Yeah, because that's correct. Yeah. And then I um, would say stated in uh, bio drive. No, it's a bio diversity. Well, how do I normally put a, I don't actually, I don't have a reference for that one. Um, I normally go and find, um, in fact, there's another, <laughs> I go and find the most recent uh, treatment of the species because they will always cite that. They will always cite the first description. So if you go most recent treatment, Because that's what taxonomy is about, citing mm. lots of stuff. So if you go into citations, the, um, go down to the right to the bottom, well, not quite right to the bottom because they'll have images. Mm. You'll have to keep going up. They, they put the images in the bottom in this publication. So the citations will be above probably, well, maybe below, but I suspect it's going to be above that, the list of species for this publication. Keep going up. Going up. These are appendices, I think. There we go. That's the start of citations, I think. Is it? No. They cite actually in the article. Oh, the pain. Mm. Me. Mm. Well, the other option is to go to the actual part and you need to refresh the Wikidata page. <laughs> Assumes you're talking about the original name. Ah, thanks, Rod. That's why. What did I miss? How, how, how should we restructure it then? What should we do to structure it properly? This is where I need to take a, a tutorial from Rod. Assumes you're talking about the original name. Okay. All right. Well, somehow we're going to have to sort that out. World of it. <laughs> true, true. This is, this is our next edition of uh, the Wikipedia yeah. Weekly. How to deal with yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, another session. <laughs> um, so the other things that can go in there, um, I'm just trying to think. I think it have the... Oh, so we'd have to do a new item for the original name and then add the original description in with that original name. Uh, okay. Oh, and, and Rod's already done it for us. Okay, brilliant. So we can add the the statement in the um, wiki data item for our for the current name. Put the um, I can never say the word right. By by what's the by? Oh God, um, the original name in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> I can never say it properly. By by I don't know. I don't know. So this is this where my ignorance comes to the fore. This so add statement. It's, he'll, have, he'll have gone away and created a new item for the original um, yeah. species name. And so you put in... Da, 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 da. That's your name? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. And then put the original name in, which is in the chat mm -hmm. from ages ago. Prosperius. Yeah, Prosperius really um, Prosopis. Oh. Yeah, pros, 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 so. Yeah. Very nice. Perfect. Teamwork. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Lovely. Mission accomplished so, for this Wikipedia Weekly. <laughs> uh, I, 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 oh, I, nice. Thanks, Rod. Cool. But that you can still use, um, yeah, that citation for this one. Other stuff, yeah. But this one needs to go here, right? Nah, 
Yeah, I suppose, yes, in that case, yes. You could go back so to, I, and yeah. use, maybe you could cite it like, um, if you uh, d d stated in. Ah, here it is, stated in. Here you yep. know. And then the pages, and then you can do BHL page ID, and then reference has role first description. Uh, um, but we can't put the, the page link. That should be a reference. Oh, no, 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 no. As in, no, that I'm talking about stated in for the, um, for the thing we've just added. Go, sorry, go, go back to. Yeah. Yep. And you've just added the Bayesianium. Put the, mm -hmm. the reference in there. Use the reference in there. So stated in. Ah, uh, yes. And mm -hmm. then use the original, yep, as the reference. But no, because the stated in needs to go to a Wikidata item. So I think this needs to be. Oh, but no, but, the, it is, but it is. You're right. It is, a, it is a Wikidata item. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't yeah. said anything. No, yeah. publish. Uh, and I always add the uh, qualifier that it's um, the uh, reference has role first description. No, to the, sorry, in the reference side of things, that's me getting it wrong for you. Sorry, Andra, that's me getting it wrong. Yeah, reference has role. Yeah, perfect. And then first description. Okay, remove that. Yeah, sorry about that. That's my, my mistake. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and, um... Oh, nice. Someone put it as described by source. That's good. Lovely, lovely. Just... And someone else put the Māori mask B. Um, if you're using the word Māori, can you please put the um, the the, oh, Word, the acute it. acute over the A, please? When you so it needs to, we need to go. Can you go put the acute in Māori, please? And how do I do that? I uh, I just go. Oh, good question. I'll go and do it. It's all right. Okay. I will wait and refresh. So, oh, sorry, I've got to find it now. <laughs> Where are we? I'm, I'm not. I'm looking at that and not actually what I've been doing. There we go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ah, well, let me see. Yes. Okay, if you refresh now, it's all sort of. Okay, what's next? Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we, we've done, we've done images. We can sort of tidy it to keep keep editing the article if you wanted. Um, but I can't think of anything else. I mean, I just edit the article, clean up the. Uh, we could add the image to the um, Wikidata item. Uh, ah, yes, right. thanks. Someone Has someone else. done it? Someone's yeah. already done it. <laughs> so, <laughs> should we not also add the female and male? Oh, good point. <laughs> yes, nice. Yeah. So, if you, where would we, where would it go in the description section? Oh, you mean, oh, well, I would also do it for the Wikidata item. I wouldn't just have an image for the female, I'd also put a male in there as well. Oh. But we had the, we had the ads, we had the hats in comments, right? Yeah. We had, let me check. This is, so do we want to add more pic pictures to? Yeah. I so would for the, for the, to, we will, I, I will go in after this and flesh out the article and I will say that the, the in fact, I'm okay. going to do it now if you wanted. And then, then the images should actually be showing the male and the female. And those two at the end of that is really nice. Nice two um, images of the female and male differences. There are other differences. The girl's bigger than the boy normally. It's bigger size B. 
So I think we have covered all the steps, right? Yeah. Like collecting the resources. So the, the, the thing we haven't done is made any texts. Yeah. So going to the literature <laughs> and do the description. Yeah, yeah. And what I do when I'm doing a species article, if I can, and if the original description is not too long and it's in the public domain, which because I'm normally dealing with stuff which is in BHL and it's either openly licensed or in the public domain, I actually copy the first description and have that as, as a quote. And so if I you guess. go into the, yeah, if you go into the original, yeah, I'll do the show text, but I've actually done it for you in the original doc, in the preparation document and I've formatted it and stuff. So if you scroll right down to the bottom, keep going. There you go. Um, uh, the, under the description, Smith originally described the species as follows, quote, and then you put the beard. Yeah. So I would. And that, that you want to get rid of the BHL original description thing. That's just my reminder as to what citation I was using. So do this. And I'm not sure it's appropriately. Copy that, but I'm not sure. We might have to change the markup because I'm not, I can never remember off the top of my head how to do the markup. So we do the edit source. And it mm. might be, a, 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 I'm not sure whether it's colon or a pipe after quote. So just um, see what it looks like. I no, it doesn't this. look nice. Try try a pipe. I wish I could remember. Uh, oh, just the take the, yeah, that's fun. No, it doesn't look right. So where, the, where it says quote um, colon, try quote pipe. Quote, quote, sorry, quote by? Yeah, pipe. pipe. Yeah. yeah. For the marker. And the, um, yeah, that's it. And hopefully that, that'll be it. Uh, it's not going to, that's not going to work. No. The, the long uh, separator. Long slash. Long, long, long yeah. Uh, long. The slash? No, no. The, the horizontal. No, the straight the, one. The straight one. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I'm sorry. It's, that's, that's the one. Yes. Try, try that one. Hopefully, it's going to work. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to publish changes. Yep. Okay. Lovely. You have more text that we can just. Yeah, just copy it all. It's all. It's all ready to go. It's just you might have to format it. So that the. Uh, this piece was first described by Frederick Smith, and uh, ah, we forgot one thing is the and uh, where is it? Um, I will put it like this. I'm going to no, this is not the one, so let's clean up a bit of the so we had the taxonomy, it's a taxonomy. So I'm going to go here. Uh, underneath the underneath the image, yeah. In, in. And can you, uh, yeah, can you do it in um, visual? Because there's. Um... Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Right. So you put yeah the um, species name in italics. And you can get rid of original description because that's just my um, me, my notes for the type of uh, citation that needs to happen. Uh, say that again. Sorry, I've got a bit distracted. Okay, sorry. This species is first described by Frederick Smith in 1876 under the name. And then it says original description, uh, page yes. 485. Right. Get rid of that. We'll sort that out later. Yes. And then Smith used a specimen collected in the Canterbury region. So you can do Canterbury as a, as a wiki link. Uh, only Canterbury. Just be careful because Canterbury might be Canterbury in the UK rather than New Zealand. Mm. Canterbury region in New Zealand. There it is. Lovely. And except get rid of the word New Zealand because you don't need that. Lovely. Um, Charles, he doesn't have a Wikipedia page, so you can okay. red link him if you like. He's very notable for New Zealand. But the nephew of Edward Gibbon Wakefield definitely has a Wikipedia article because that's the Wakefield who 
um, helped establish colonies in New Zealand. Rid of that. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay, I'm going to save that. Publish changes. Publish. And then it's more, also more, I mean, I'll go through and make sure all these statements are cited after we've finished. But if you go back to the original document, we have stuff for habitat as well um, um, and description and identification. But uh, under description, the males of the species are between in length um, with yellow markings, um, description. Yeah, just put anything you like. Well, let's see. The species in empty New Zealand and can be found in the North, South, Stewart and... Chatham and Three Kings Islands. Yeah, so we can do that on distribution and habitat. Uh, going back, so won't go. It's, it's more range rather than habitat. That'd be range. Okay, I'm going here. Went to New Zealand. Here I'm not comfortable with this, so I need to see the link. Zealand, yes, and can be found in the north south. You think. could, if you want to link each of those, but we'll sort that out later. There we saw. So I, I think this we can do. We can do offline. And yeah. there is one thing that I want, still want to add is, and I think I've put it in there well, when we were um, uh, creating, uh, while we we're discussing this, and that is to work with. Where is his name again? The Frederick Smith. So, yep. text means, uh, what was the link again? I think I added it to the document. Those plants, parasites. Okay. Uh, where did I have that link? It might have been the top. If you're talking about him, there was I, something I, you added I, at the top, I think. Original description. No. Where did I mean, Frederick? Was it his name for the... Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Yeah, here it is. Other species by the same author. Nice. So... <clears throat> I don't think it's in there yet, no. So we need to add that to the article. Right. Add its source. Um, where are categories here. Is it underneath insect stuff? Yep. And it's mm -hmm. um, square brackets normally. Yep. So no, you've got two category category. So just. Ah, okay. Thank you. No, perfect. Ranges. to go back, go there, and it should be, yeah, yay, it's there. Nice, nice one. Um, yeah, I'm happy to, to go on, but I think this is, we can do this offline as well. <clears throat> Are there questions? No new questions in the chat right now. The main thing when you're writing a Wikipedia article like this is to think about the audience you're writing it for, and there will not just be one, there'll be several. So I I, I think of the 12-year-old kid who's at school wanting to know, you know, they're doing a bee project or something. I think about the scientist who's curating specimens and want to quickly link to the first species um, description I think of the person who is looking for all the type specimens in an institution. Um, I think of the nat the iNaturalist folk who just want to know, I've seen a, a bee, I want to know what type of bee it is. So in the description, I'll add information about um, what the differences are between the species in the same genus. So for example, this particular species is bigger than most of the other species in New Zealand in the door all the other species in this genus in New Zealand. So I'll make sure that information is in there so that when someone goes to iNaturalist and they're looking in the about section of iNaturalist because the article will be imported into iNaturalist, 
that information is there so that they can also not just look at the images but also have the text to help um, distinguish between their observations and to work out whether their observation is that particular bee or it might be some other species. Yeah. What are you doing now, Andra? Well, I was just uh, I was just packing, uh, and I saw, and I suspect Jan is the culprit here, that the image we uploaded made it into the Swedish Wikipedia article. Nice. Actually, no. So that's, that's one, one thing, a question that we got asked earlier today on Twitter, what's the purpose of adding things to Wikidata? And by someone who's actually adding the image to Wikidata made it automatically show up in the yeah. info box on Swedish Wikipedia. Yeah, oh, really? that's why you put, yeah, that's yeah. bots all the time. That's why I make sure I'm quite careful about the images I actually put into oh, That's Wikidata. not even bots. That's a, the template is using the, the Oh, image. fabulous. Yes. Wow. So we, we do have a taxa box uh, WD, so yeah. we can we can get everything. We, we didn't when this one was created, uh, and I haven't changed it because it's it's the same information in the both in them both. Yeah. So, but it will actually hope by filling out uh, that for a lot of uh, language versions, even if it's not helped on mm. English Wikipedia because they're not using it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Really important to make sure that the image you add images to Wikidata so that it's um, yeah. it populates other other language Wikipedias. So I, 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 so what I did is that um, yeah, me too. I added a photo to the Dutch Wikipedia article. Um, the, the, there in the Dutch Wikipedia, there is it's still quite the whole template. The taxo box is com is still all completely manual. Whereas if we go back to the English Wikipedia, and I understand now the Swedish has uh, um, what we have done here. This is still the. Swedish one, what we did initially when we started one of the first steps, we actually only put in the species box and then selected the image and the parent and the taxon. And then it, I think that this is, this is speculation. I think this is also coming from Wikidata. Okay. That seems plausible. Yeah. yeah. Unless this, it's, Manual remaking Wikidata on English Wikipedia. <laughs> exactly. I think there is a question with that answer by Tiago um, about this that we just answered. <clears throat> yeah, so I checked the, the, the taxa box WD on Swedish Wikipedia and it does not have any interwiki links yet. No. <coughs> So there is there is a taxon there is a uh, info box on the English Wikipedia which is uh, also quite interesting. It's using the the Miko the the, the mushrooms uh, on it. Okay. Uh, I actually try to rep to to copy that to the Dutch, but that, that's that's a that's a trade on its own. So to to how to translate. So uh, we're translating between here. It is on a textual level, but but translating those te those info boxes between languages is an exercise on its own. <clears throat> yeah, and it's the communities, the language communities, that decide whether or not they want to uh, introduce that to their Wikipedia. So it's not something that we can, like with the the, the template that we saw earlier in iNaturalist, we cannot. It's 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 not a one one fit one solution fits all here. Do you want to? Um, I don't. I'm loath to do it because once you refresh it, I don't know how long it takes iNaturalist to do it, That's um, but yes. it, it might be worth just going and showing people on iNaturalist what happens and then we just wait for this particular species. So yeah. um, go um, to the species in iNaturalist and show them how the about section will be populated by this not so great Wikipedia article, which I promise you I will take care of this afternoon. <laughs> I will make sure it's much nicer by the time people actually come to look at it again. Uh, it's there. <clears throat> so yeah. remember we started out with the template. Now we already have a the taxon box is there. Ah, with they the have links. A specimen in there. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, we had a full circle. 
of reading. And something. also, you can. Do you want to show them how you can upload that um, that that uh, type specimen head into iNaturalist? I know this is probably off off topic almost. It's sort of editing yeah. iNaturalist rather than anything else, but it's you using Wikicommons stuff in you iNaturalist. Have to, you have to guide me here because okay, so go go to curation. Can you see under the um, go source Wikipedia? See where it says source Wikipedia. Uh, okay, and well, it says about above it, and then taxonomy and status and similar uh, species, and there's a button that says curation. Yeah. Pull that yeah. down. Go down to edit photos. Just wait. Instead of RG observations, photos from RG observations, pull that drop down. Down. Go to Wikimedia Commons. Oh wow! Can't believe you didn't know this. No, <laughs> this is what I spent my life me. doing. Okay. <laughs> Then take the type specimen, well, which was which is one. the first one, yep, and drag it to the end of the, yep, and drop. It should, yep. Oh, you don't want it first because that would make it the default one. We'll put it in, and then you can swap it around. Okay. And now, now, put, don't make it the default. Yep. Okay. Lovely. Perfect. Ah, this is new to me. So you can yep. there is also to comment. So what you can do. What part of my workflow is if I find a type specimen, say, in the Natural History Museum or in Auckland Museum or now Te Papa National Museum, I will download that image, stick it into WikiCommons, and if there's no other images on iNaturalist, I will go and add that image to iNaturalist. You know how sometimes iNaturalist has um, the species page, but absolutely no images, no one knows what it looks like, so they don't observe it? because mm -hmm. they don't know what it looked like. They can't compare it. So I go add these images from Wikicommons, add from the institution to Wikicommons into iNaturalist, so that the next time iNaturalist folk are out there and they go, oh, I've seen this insect. It sort of looks like this. Is this right? They've got something to compare it to. And where is this type specimen now? Uh, it's only in the curation side of things. So it, you oh, can, there it is. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it pulls it up. But sometimes that'll be the uh, you know the only image of a species in there, and then yeah. but it helps inform if you do a Wikipedia article and those are the only openly licensed images you can get, and there's nothing in iNaturalist, then iNaturalist can take the Wikipedia article and the about section, and you can yeah. explain the range and where you, where to find the species, the habitat. You can go look at this particular plant and you might see it. This is why I do, this is the very reason I do a lot of species articles is so that it gets populated into iNaturalist and then I go search everywhere for any specimen photos that I can find if I can't get ones of live animals because, of course, you want to prioritise a, a live animal over a, 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 a preserved specimen because they just look natural. But if you can't get anything, I will use a museum specimen and stick it up there so that people can actually when they go out looking for stuff, can go, oh, so it's that specimen of, you know, that species of cicada, not that one that's so common. It's something different. This and it so means cool. that, yeah, it means that people, when they're out there, they then go ahead and take photos. And if you then go along and say, can you please change your licence, please? And then you've got an image of a, a live specimen, a live animal that you can put in commons for your Wikipedia mm -hmm. article. And it's all this lovely generation. Of, of data and um, information and biodiversity data, lovely virtuous cycle mm. of feeding off each other and adding. Yeah, that's why I do it. It's really nice, a really synergistic e ecosystem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A biodiversity knowledge graph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is yeah. not just this, because it leads back to the original description in BHL. It leads back to the original species. It can lead to genome sequencing and scientific papers. It can let you know just exponentially data explosion of linked open data. If you yeah, do actually, we need a new term because it's not it's not not only linked data. It's more than linked data. It's linked photos, linked. Oh, the linked photos. Oh, I take a very photos. wide definition of data. Everything to be data. <laughs> It's pixels in a certain order with a certain mm -hmm. color value. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is everything. Yeah. Okay, so you can actually, but can you use this? No, you. If I have a picture in comments that someone yep. uploaded, uh, because there is some concerns with the. I actually, when I write a Wikipedia article, and there are many 
pictures of that species as uh, I mean annotated by I actually ignore those and go to iNaturalist because I have because uh, but can I now actually submit those photos from Commons to iNaturalist for the iNaturalist community to annotate whether that observation is that photo? No, it no. Is that all this all this does is edit the species page yeah. on iNaturalist. And I'm really careful about what I put up there because iNaturalist users will be using this content. It's like I'm very careful about what I put up into, I'm very careful normally about what I upload to Wiki Commons and use on that Wikipedia article. One of the reasons I'm so confident about that particular image of that bee that we've now added to all those info boxes, I know of the guy who actually collected that bee and he's one of the top naturalists in New Zealand. And he has a lot of friends who ID who are, you know, top quality scientists for the Department of Conservation, for land care research. I mean, his stuff, he, he's really good quality about IDing stuff. And then he's really, he's got a community around him that research grades his, his observations. So I'm quite confident that when he observes stuff and it's up to research grade, that his, his is very high quality. I wouldn't have let you upload it if I wasn't sure who took the photo and who had ID'd it. Yeah. That's why I pointed you there. So I'm quite careful about what I curate and what I add okay. to both iNaturalist and Wikipedia. I know you like, you're confident about research grade, but I take it a bit further than that because especially when it comes to New Zealand endemic species, it can get that some of them are very cryptic, some of them are very difficult to tell. They look like, you know, three of them look exactly the same and you've got to be extra careful that you know who's actually doing the ID work. No, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm comfortable with research grade. I'm saying I'm starting to get comfortable. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not, uh, well, something's better than nothing, and you know, it's editable. That's the nice thing. If you make a mistake, you can go back and correct it. I mean, if if you have to rely on what's uploaded to Commons, you don't have this extra threshold. So yeah. it's just But I. But you're right. I'm maybe the research is just to give too much quality indication than it really is. But um, I I. I think I come from the perspective in New Zealand where we don't have this huge, huge community. So that research grade in Europe, for example, where you might have 10 people saying, yes, it's the species, that's that's another level of, of certainty. Whereas in New Zealand, you might only have one person who's agreeing with the original person who put the species up to say, yes, this is research grade. So I'm quite careful to make sure I know the person who's actually saying yes. And I know I've got an awareness of where they are quality wise, yeah. you know, and, and I know a lot of the, I know of, or I actually personally know a lot of the top um, contributors to iNaturalist New Zealand. And I just am just extra careful. I go and research some of the people who, before I upload the images, just to double check that I'm confident that they, and even then they make mistakes, but that's fine. So do I, but it's just this extra, extra level of certainty for me. Because I know people start using this stuff. You know, you think, oh, no one's going to actually use this small bee. It's endemic to New Zealand. Who's going to use it? Well, it actually, once you put it in Wikipedia and it's Google, you know, Googled, quite a few people do. It's a powerful position to be in. And so I try and be extra careful. Yeah. yeah. So should we wrap up or do you think we can continue? I think we've covered everything. I think we yeah. have. We've shown our workflow. It's normally in Zoom, well, we're wanting to put it in a more um, in a more generous, um, open platform, but normally it's a free-for-all, hmm. isn't it, Andra? Yeah, we're still exploring a bit. Uh, I, yeah. I would love to to get this. Uh, that, but maybe it's also, the, the, we usually had this on my Friday night, Saturday morning for Chauvin. Uh, because that was the only spot that we could find some spot we can uh, the time zones would permit that but yeah. uh, I would love to but that, that rules out other regions and uh, yeah so we should keep, definitely we should definitely make it more generous and open yeah so not every, I don't have to be there all the time <laughs> no and sometimes I'm me neither but then I was really hoping <laughs> we can use this platform to move forward in fight. I mean, I've seen in Europe, most of the, no, that's not even true, but uh, the majority of my observations and naturalists are already described on uh, on uh, on Wikipedia. But if you go to my, my favorite 
thing to scroll now is the Amazon rainforest or Madagascar. And you look at observations in those regions, like most of the, the species there are, are, are just non-existent. So there is still a lot of stuff that needs to go into the Wikisphere. And maybe we can use this Wikipedia Weekly as um, a next platform to... So if this is also a shout out to, uh, to everybody who's watching this. If you want to spend some time, and Jan, I hope I can say that. Yes, you can. Do a second or third or fourth editions on some specific species, species and just meet here and write like we did today. Today we took a bit of, this is, we took a bit of explanations. Usually we just dive in and sometimes there are a lot yeah. of silences in this. Normally, story. yeah, normally Andra puts the, puts the species up and that's it. We're just saying, right, I'm off doing taxonomy. Okay, I'll do the description. I'll, you know. And it's research as you go. It's not, we're, we're a bit more prepared for this one with the document that we got sort of sorted out for this. But normally it's a free for all. And sometimes you just end up with a stub, but it's yeah. a stub with an image with a reasonable set of uh, links to original descriptions. And if we're lucky, the most recent treatment and it's all interlinked and it's ready to go to be built on when, once people find it. And uh, as a shout out to uh, Rosanna, uh, Rosangela Souza, if she's watching, uh, I, these, the, all these candidates will be on Wikipedia within a week. That's my commitment to this. <laughs> nice one. Very nice one. I think this is yeah. yours. We can end with the up. I think this is your observation. Of yeah, it, that's right? my observation of it. Yeah, that's a little female um, on a flex flower. And I, I learned so much doing this. I had no idea, one, that they were the biggest um, masked bee in New Zealand, and we're talking teeny, uh, teeny tiny, teeny. Um, and they're, um, you know, all over the country, but they're actually not very frequent. So although their dis dis distribution's extensive, you won't find that many of them. But if you want to increase the numbers, you can get yourself a little, make yourself a little bee um, a block of wood with certain diameter holes in it and they'll come and nest in it. So I'm, I'm seriously considering making one for myself to see if it works. Yeah. I quite like this bee now. <laughs> I can imagine. Okay. Okay. And for you who actually saw the thumbnail image, I put a number one as an episode number. So I hope we will be back. <laughs> yeah. We have plans already, but yes. uh, please reach out to us. Uh, and have yeah, and if you've got questions, yeah, I'm on Twitter. So under at Siobhan Leachman, and I'm very happy to help anyone. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.